guys what's going on my name is Louis and God bless every single one of you today is February 19 2024 and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel all right guys so we have some urgent information coming out if you can please share this video and it says here massive explosion rocked Lebanon we're gonna see what's going on here guys let me show you some of these videos um, here's one let me just play from the very beginning. Look at this. Man, that's huge. Ooh. Uh, I got a feeling there's going to be something tonight. Man. Ooh. Wow. Got multiple videos here. Whew. Oh man. Explosion rocked at least two separate sites in the town of, I'm gonna skip that name, in southern Lebanon. Apparently, these were ISR strikes. Before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, family, some loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. And for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Guys, make sure you check out my videos, Truckers, New York. Uh, very important video I just posted. Uh, the person that, uh, that started the movement, uh, Chicago Ray, uh, removed the post, uh, the video that... That was trending, almost 10 million views. He removed it today. And he added something else, a post, but then he removed that one. And he's he bought a new video. Um, today he posted a new video um, saying that the, the truckers are the real deal and New Yorkers need to prepare. So that link will be in the comments box. Make sure you check it out. Uh, also, I've been posting videos in my other channel the Rise Up Warrior, all the information will be in the comments box. Also, make sure you check out California uh, video, 37 million are uh, basically on high alert. Atmospheric River is nonstop. It's really hurting them right now. So 37 million on high alert. All right, let's see what's going on with this one here. ISR forces have carried out at least two airstrikes on the coastal town of that region in southern Lebanon. All right, according to the ISR military and left state media. Now, follow me with the words. I'm not going to say the names because the platform is strict. Um, so you have the Lab Army, excuse me, the Lab Armed Group, Hezbollah, and ISR have been exchanging near daily fire across the border since ISR launched its assault on the Strip in response to those group last strike on October the 7th. Man, that's, that's where we're at right now. The town is about five kilometers, that's three miles away from the southern port city of Sudan, or Sidon, and about 60 kilometers, that's 37 miles north of the border with ISR. So you have this person here, an ISR army spokesman, said on Monday, We targeted Hellsbow. We did! We targeted Hellsboat weapons depots near Sudan in response to the explosion of an enemy craft whose wreckage we found near this territory area this afternoon. We will continue to act forcefully in response to Hellsboat strikes. So it's been confirmed it's, this strike was from ISR. All right, so this is coming out from ISR Army spokesman. And this is his name. I'm not going to mention it, but uh, again, that's his name. He's the one coming out and saying, yeah, we uh, we did it. There were no immediate comments from Hellsbowl. 
whenever the other side leave no comments, it's because there is a very important discussion going on. Now, guys, this land here, they have over 200,000 rockets. That's the most in any country in the world. They have over 200,000. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how. Don't ask me, uh, you know, how in the world they got all them rockets. I have no idea. They have over 200,000 and uh, they could make it rain fire for like six months straight nonstop. So, this is why this video is very important because, uh, yeah, um, it's not looking good. And let's talk about the Red Hot Sea. And I post that video on my new channel, The Rise Up Warrior. A uh, U.S. Reaper, out. Out. They took that thing out. A U.K. ship, <sighs> impacted. So, the Red Hot region is getting hit. Sleeping Giant and allies are getting hit. So there's been a lot of stuff going on today. You have this news anchor or journalist uh, reporting from Beirut said that a factory was targeted in the strikes. The owner of the factory said that the targeted facility manufactured electrical generators. She added that strikes hitting deeper inside lab are becoming more frequent. They hit a facility that produces generators. So ISR, what they're trying to do here is they're trying to keep that area in darkness. So they're going to hit a grid. ISR is going to hit the grid. They're going to hit something. And once that area is pitch black, they can't get generators because generators were, uh, were uh, taken out. So um, ISR... Uh, is uh, is preparing for some kind of major uh, response. But first, they're going after these uh, facilities before they start hitting the fan. This is uh, very important information. The strikes came shortly after Persia-backed uh, Hellsboat Group claimed responsibility for two strikes on ISR post in the border area of that region. This person said... This tit-for-tat um, exchange of fire appear likely to continue. Hellsbull has made it clear that it will not halt the fighting until ISR aggressions on the strip ends. Now, this was a military target and Hellsbull will respond as such and both sides have been trying to confine their strikes to military targets. It's very much a control escalation. Yes, many have been out, innocent, but we are still steps away from a comprehensive biblical war. No doubt this is an escalation. Many in lab fear that this conflict is a slippery slope and could get out of hand. The ISR military last week said it taken out a Hellsboat commander, his deputy and other very important ones. On Friday, Hellsboat Secretary General vowed that ISR would pay, would pay a very big price for innocence that was taken out in lab. He warned that the group possesses a uh, very powerful, and that's the one I'm talking about, missiles that could reach anywhere in ISR. Hellsboat has reported around 200 of its fighter have been out since the cross-border escalation started. So, this is big news. There's been multiple uh, mushrooms going on. They hit a facility that produces uh, electrical generator. ISR, excuse me, uh, Hellsbowl has not comment or say anything. They just quiet, which is very concerning. When they quiet, uh, you best believe that they are, they are talking or coming out with some kind of plan to strike back. Now, give me a second here, guys. I want to bring up something really quick here. I just want to see if there's any more updates, information. When it comes to this news.
make sure you check out my videos guys uh, once again about the Red Sea um, and so far um, yeah it seems like this is all the information so far but I'm trying to look for someone's account because this person posts a lot of good stuff um, oh, hold on give me a second here let's go to DEFCON really quick So I want to bring this up really quick. All right, so there was multiple explosion near Aden. Yemen causes uh, damage to vessel. Wow. The initial report said that the explosion came near the vessel, and then a second explosion was reported in the air and near the vessel, causing some damage. And again, the, uh, these are the information I posted, the video I posted today. Again, the link will be in the comments box. All right. I'm trying to look for this one person account, and he does put some very good stuff. Wait a minute. We have breaking news updates here. Hold on. I got to bring this up. The Sleeping Giant defense official have now confirmed that a Reaper uh, with, again, the Sleeping Giant Armed Force, Air Force has crashed last night in the southern Red High region directly of the coast of Yemen, with the cause of the crash being unknown, but likely rela uh, related to a takedown attempt by this group using a surface-to-air missile battery. And I did post a video about two hours ago. That link will be in the comments box. Um, okay, so this is all the breaking news so far. So, Hell's Bowl, no comments. It's quiet. I don't like that. It seems like there's going to be a big strike on the Holy Land pretty soon on ISR. So just keep your eyes open here, guys. So it's a tit for tat going on. Uh, they're striking. They strike back. So it's a back and forth thing happening here. And since Hell's Boat did not respond or comment about the strike today, the explosion that took place, uh, I do believe that uh, big things are coming. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give your life to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.